I don't know whether we will or not. <laughs> I've enjoyed being here with you in this meeting, and I have enjoyed the talk of all of you who have talked. And I feel the Spirit of the Lord has been with us. It's a great thing to hold the priesthood of God. And that is what this is tonight, a, uh, a priesthood meeting, as I understand it. The priesthood of God is power, power. It's a endowment which the Lord has given to us who hold the priesthood to perform sacred ordinances that have effect in this world and in the world to come. It's the greatest power in the world, the priesthood. And I'm very happy that I've had the privilege through the years to bear the priesthood. Every office in the priesthood from deacon up to the offices of the Melchizedek Priesthood, I have had assignments to work in. And I know that it's the priesthood that will save this world. It is not a man-made organization. It is not a man-propelled organization. It is an organization, a power revealed from heaven and sent here to us to help us prepare our lives for eternal life in the presence of our Father in heaven. It's a great thing to see this building completely filled with bearers of the priesthood, both men who bear the Melchizedek priesthood, old men like myself, and the young men who bear the Aaronic priesthood. I hope that we appreciate the authority that the Lord has given us to act in his service in the respective offices in the priesthood that we hold. I remember years ago now, I've held the priesthood for three quarters of a century from the time I was a deacon till I now hold the Melchizedek priesthood. And I've enjoyed it all through the years. And it's been sacred to me, and it's sacred to me now. And I hope that you have the same feeling about the priesthood. Don't ever do anything that you be ashamed to of, that you will be ashamed to talk to the Lord about, because we'll meet him some days if we good enough, live the gospel well enough to have that privilege, and. We will be very grateful then if we know, as he will know, 
that our lives have been in harmony with the teachings of the gospel and the responsibility that is placed upon us who hold the priesthood. I've enjoyed this meeting tonight. It's true I wasn't appointed to come here to the priesthood meeting, but I'm glad I did, and I'm glad I've heard what I've heard here tonight. I pray the Lord will bless every boy and, girl, and man, old and young, that's here tonight with the feeling and the determination that he will live to the teachings of the gospel and magnify the priesthood which the Lord has given him. It would be a great day for us individually if when we're called to give an account of our deeds down here in the earth, if we can be assured that the Lord will approve our actions and we go on through the eternities beyond this life in the growth that comes to men and boys who hold the priesthood faithfully do their duties and seek the Lord can be assured of and will receive. I've enjoyed these this meeting tonight, and I'm happy that you've been here, you had this great lesson and great act, act, report of the activities in the, this stake. I hope you'll all come tomorrow to the conference that you, you can get in. If there's room for you, I suppose there will be in the conference tomorrow, the state co conference, church conference. And I leave my blessings with you and pray that you, you will be given an understanding that priesthood power is the power of God and never do anything to disappoint yourselves or your loved ones or the Lord that would diminish your right and blessings that will come to you through the obedience to the priesthood as long as you live. And I leave my blessings with you and my testimony in the name of Jesus Christ, amen.